assignment 13 grammar model of satanity assalamu alaikum dear students how are you doing i'm sure you're having good time with your family and friends and also working on your home task too today we are going to do grammar we will do model of satanity and future with villain going to this video is divided into different parts so do watch each part in order to understand better so let's start uh, uh, as you have done in assignment 9 model verb and you are aware of the models so what do you think is the purpose of these verbs what does satanity mean what do you know about future tense uh, when can we use will and when can we use going to okay uh, first we will revise the model verbs uh, model verbs can be used to express the ideas about past, present and future. They provide specific or additional meanings uh, to the or for of the main verb in a sentence, right? It gives a sense to a sentence as well. All right, about model of satanity, there are degrees of satanity, right? Uh, certainty shows that how sure you are about something fine so first of all degrees of certainty your first degree of certainty is use must and has to say you're sure that something is true right when you are a hundred percent sure that this thing is true you can use must and has to all right we have an example it must be a prosimian it has comb like teeth so you're sure it has comb like teeth so who has comb like teeth from these prosimians have comb like teeth so it must be a prosimian i have one more example it has to be a spider it has eight legs right as you can see it has eight legs so it is what it must be a spider now we will move towards the second degree of satanity okay use can to say that something isn't true when you are sure that this thing is not true we use what we use can't for example that can't be a spider it has only four legs so you're quite sure that the spider has eight legs so this spider has four so do you think it's a spider no it can't be a spider because spiders always have eight legs now we will move towards the third degree of certainty all right use might if you are not sure that something is true right when you're not sure about something what we use we use might for example it might be a spider but i am not sure why am i not sure because i can't because i can't see how many legs it has right so i'm not sure how many legs it has so i'm using might for that All right, so to express satanity in present, we use must, can't, and couldn't, right? When we are talking about present, we use must, can't, and couldn't. And when we are talking about past, to express satanity in past, we use must have, can't have, and couldn't have. The have shows that it is referring to the past tense right so for present we use must can't couldn't and for past we use must have can't have couldn't have all right i have some examples for you my keys must be here somewhere because i use them to open the door so you're quite sure that you have opened the door with it so the keys must be inside somewhere they can't be outside because i came inside immediately right so you just came inside the house and you didn't see them so it means they can't be outside one more example is i must have put them back in my handbag oh yes here they are right so you can see that you have put them inside so they must be inside your bag okay now we'll move towards the exercise exercise e in this exercise, you have to read the description and tell which animal each must be. I'm doing the first one for you. It's big and gray with long tusks and trunk. So what is this that has long tusks and trunk? That is an elephant. 
okay so you have to do the rest like these now exercise F in exercise F you have to take turns to describe an animal guess which animal is it use might has to must and can't while you're describing the animal okay now we will move towards our next exercise before that I'm going to tell you that we have already read the model of satanity so just go back and watch the video and you will revise it fine all right now exercise B in exercise B what you have to do is that you have to read the sentences and complete with the words in the box what are the words in the box must can't and might so you have to fill in these blanks with must can't and might the mo the bone blank be a leg we are completely sure of it so the bone we are sure of it so what will come here the bone must be a leg we are completely sure of it All right, moving towards exercise C. Read the sentences and circle the correct words. I'll do the first one for you. Everybody is 100% sure that this must or might be a dinosaur's tooth. So we are 100% sure then it must be, right? Everybody is 100% sure that this must be a dinosaur's tooth. Now our next exercise, exercise F. You have to read the dialogue and fill the blanks with must, with might, or can't. Right? So you're going to read the dialogue. Rachel, what do you think this is or it is it looks like a part of a toy now james is answering it blank be because it's made out of gold it blank be something else so it is made out of gold so what should come here it can't be because it's made out of gold right now you're giving you're not sure what it is so you're saying it might be something else right so you have to read the dialogue and fill in the blanks in the same way all right our next exercise is exercise h make sentences of the words given in the box and say them to your partner now the words that are given in the box are must expensive made of gold might child's shoe quite small can't and made of plastic so I've made this one for you I know it must be expensive because it's made of gold so using these words in the box I have made this sentence you have to do the same now we will move towards our next exercise exercise I in this exercise you have to imagine that you have found some objects Write a conversation like the one in exercise F. Write what you think the object must, might or can't be. Give the reason why each time. Use these ideas of your own. In your book, the ideas are given, right? So you can take the ideas from there. The pictures are given over there. So you can take those objects and you can write uh, the conversation. Okay. Now, grammar in use. We'll move towards our next exercise. All right, exercise B. In this exercise, you have to fill in the blanks with can't or must. With can't or must. First one I have done for you. The tiger's gums and teeth look very bad. He blank have a toothache. So they look bad, right? So what do you think? Must will come or can't? Of course, he 
is in pain so he must have a toothache okay let's move towards our next exercise so our next exercise is exercise C in this exercise you have to unscramble and write two sentences for each picture the pictures are given in your books and in your assignment as well so you, first one is girl wants all the the sandwiches hungry has she be too so you have to unscramble them and make a sentence the girl is hungry she wants to have all the sandwiches right B we have used is for it okay and has obviously we have to see in the context whether we need has or have so we are using have instead of has the girl is hungry she wants to have all the sandwiches right so you have to do the whole exercise in the same way now the next exercise is exercise D read the first sentence write a second sentence use must for one two and five for one two and five you have to use must and for three four and six you have to use can't or might I have done first one for you there are footprints of a large cat here the tiger right so it's first one so we have to use must right the tiger must have walked through okay in this way you have to make the second part of the sentence right or make the second sentence okay we'll move towards our exercise e now in this exercise clues are given to you read the clues and complete the sentences right I don't eat any other animal right you can't be so you don't eat any other animal so what you can't be you can't be a lion or a carnivore right so just like that you have to complete the sentences now exercise F in this exercise Write sentences, describe something that can't be true, something that must be true and something that might be true. So you're going to write sentences in which you're going to tell the things that can't be true, the things that must be true or the things that might not be true. Okay. All right. Now I have a video for you related to the model of certainty. So let's watch it. Hi, today we're going to learn about modal verbs of certainty. Remember to turn on the subtitles so you can follow along. Let's get started. Let's just have a quick refresh on what is a modal verb. There are nine pure modal verbs. Must, might and may, will and would, can and could and shall and should. So what should you remember about all modals? Number one. Modals do not change, ever. So he must be tired, not he must be tired. This is the same for all pronouns. I must, you must, and so on. Two, modals are followed by the infinitive without two. So it must be 7 a.m., my alarm is ringing. Not it must to be 7 a.m. Three, negative modals use not or the abbreviation N apostrophe T. So, he can't win, he hasn't trained at all, not he don't can win. Four, modals have no past form, so this links back to point one, modals don't change. The verbs following the modal show the tense. So, I must have had a bad dream, and not I musted have had a bad dream. So let's look in more detail at modals of certainty. They are must, can't, and couldn't. These are used when you're nearly sure of something being either true or not true. It's much more definite than modals of possibility. So it helps to visualize a line of certainty. On the far left we have something that's 100% sure. In this case it's cold. 
the thermometer shows minus 10 degrees centigrade. Modals of certainty come pretty close to this fact. It must be cold. You're shivering. Modals of possibility have far more doubt. It could be cold, it's October, but it could also be warm and sunny. It's a possibility. Then moving on to the negative end of the scale, back to our autumn day, it might not be cold. It could be warm, it's a possibility. You're not sure. Then when you're very sure that something is not true, you use it can't or couldn't. So in this case, it can't be cold or it couldn't be cold because people are swimming in the sea. This is almost certain. And then on the far right, we have something that's 100% certain of being not true. It's not cold outside. The thermometer shows the temperature is 30 degrees centigrade. So how do we use modals of certainty? In the present tense, we use must plus the infinitive without to, when we're sure that something is true. For example, it must be from Diana because she's in Japan. When we're sure something is not true, we use can't or couldn't and not mustn't. It can't be from Diane because that's not her handwriting or it couldn't be from Diane because that's not her handwriting. Be careful when you're sure something is not true. It's not what you would logically think. If you're sure it's true, you use must. So if you're sure it's not true, you must say mustn't, right? No, this is only used for modals of prohibition. You mustn't walk on the grass. It's against the rules. Instead, when you're sure that something is not true, you use can't or couldn't. So how about talking about the past? We use must plus have plus the past participle when we're sure that something is true. For example, Rob went out without his coat. He must have been very cold. We are sure this was the case. It's not just possible. You have evidence. He had no coat. When we're sure something is not true in the past, we use can't or couldn't plus have plus the past participle. For example, he can't have been cold because he took a warm coat. We are sure he didn't get cold because he had the warm coat. Again, this is more than just possible. We know he took the warm coat. Or he couldn't have broken the window. He was at school. Again, we're sure of this because he was at school. It wasn't possible. So now it's your turn. Fill in the gaps. Number one, everyone in the class blank very hard because you have all passed your first certificate. Must have worked. We are sure this is the case because we have evidence. They all passed. Two, I don't know how old the teacher is, but he looks quite young. So he blank more than 25. Can't be. We have evidence, he looks young, so we're pretty sure that he, he is not older than 25. Three, I think she blank, a really happy person because she's always smiling and laughing. Must be, you have evidence, so you're sure this is true. Congratulations, you now know how to use modals of certainty in English. Alright students, that's the end of part 1. See you inshallah in part 2.